What's up guys, welcome back. You guys know what time of year it is. It's about to be tax season and when you're ready to splurge on dinner, this is the recipe you need to try. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this fantastic seafood boil bag. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. Today we have two pounds of jumbo shrimp. These have already been peeled, deveined, and defrosted. Here I have roughly two pounds of andouille sausage. You can feel free to use whatever smoked sausage you like. We got two onions. We got some small petite yellow or Yukon gold potatoes. We got some garlic, an orange and a lemon for our citrus. We got some beautiful snow crab legs. We got our corn, lobster tails, you can't have a boil bag without some butter. All right guys, so today we're doing this in a boil bag, similar to those restaurants that you go to and get the seafood boils. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that at home. The best way to do it, in my opinion, is to pre-cook some of the ingredients. So we're gonna start with the potatoes. The first thing you wanna do is add them to your pot and run some water under over them and just make sure they're nice and clean. You wanna rinse them until the water runs clear. So get in there with your hands, and just make sure that they're nice and clean. Then we're gonna boil them until they're about two thirds of the way done, add them to our bag and go into the oven. So the same deal here with the corn guys, we're gonna pre-cook that just a little bit, hit it with some avocado oil or olive oil or even butter if you're feeling frisky. Get a little seasoning on there, we're gonna pop them in the oven just for a few minutes to get the cooking process started. That way when you add them to your bag, they'll be done just in time when all the seafood is ready. What I hate about some of the seafood boil bags out there is that the corn is too mushy. So we're not gonna do that today, we're gonna make sure it's perfectly cooked. That's going in the oven just like that. You can wrap it with some foil, about five, six minutes. Next up on the prep list is the lobster tail. I'm gonna take some nice and sharp kitchen scissors, cut down the back of the tail like so, flip it over, cut down the bottom side. And then we'll take our knife, put it right in between, apply some pressure. And you cut your lobster tail right in half. At that point, you'll be able to remove any veins, make sure they're nice and clean. And that'll be the serving size that's going in our seafood boil bag today. All right, guys, so today we're using andouille sausage, which has you know a lot of Cajun flavors and it's perfect for a seafood boil in my opinion. I'm gonna cut them into bite-sized pieces like so. We're gonna sear these, get some color on there before we pop them into our boil bag. That's also gonna release some of the flavor into the bottom of the skillet that we'll be utilizing for our sauce. So the flavor is gonna get into the sauce nicely too. So just chop up your sausage. No real right or wrong way to do this. You can cut it into circles if you want to. Any shape or size will get the job done. All right, so in a large skillet over medium high heat, we're gonna add some avocado oil or whatever cooking oil you like. We're gonna sear this andouille sausage to get some color, start to develop some flavor, some texture, and it's gonna add flavor to our sauce. So we're just gonna add it on in there. It'll start to heat up a little bit in a second. We don't wanna you know, uh, get it too dark. We just wanna kinda of start the cooking process and give it some time to re release some of that fat that's in there in the sausage. All right, so that's why I like to get it started in a cold skillet. That way it has time to like get a nice even browning, has time to release the flavor into the skillet, render some of that fat. Like I said, you don't wanna like fry it up. You just wanna start the cooking process, get some of that flavor in the pot. So nice even color, that's what you're looking for. Just like that. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and remove the sausage. We're gonna turn the heat off for a second so the pan doesn't get too hot. And we're gonna add in everybody's favorite ingredient, which is tons of butter. All right, so at this point, we're adding two sticks of butter, guys. Cause why the hell not? We're here for a good time, not a long time. And we're making a seafood boil, right? So we're gonna go ahead and melt two sticks of butter. 
Then we're gonna start adding in the rest of our ingredients for our sauce. Quick reminder guys that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. All right, so to our butter, we're gonna add some onions, mostly for flavor guys, unless you just really love onions, you can eat them too. But they add tremendous flavor to the sauce and to the seafood that you're making. Butter, onions, garlic, you guys get where we're going here. Speaking of garlic, we're using two different versions of garlic. I'm going in with some roasted garlic. You guys have seen me make this a million times. Just put the oven on 400, chop the top off, hit it with some oil, salt and pepper, or my AP seasoning in the oven at 400 for 40 minutes. You got roasted garlic. That's gonna add a lot of flavor, nice and sweet. A little concentrated flavor. Then we're also gonna add some fresh garlic too. You can use the back of your spatula like you see me doing right here to kind of smash that roasted garlic. Just make sure it kind of emulsifies or works its way into the rest of the sauce. We're just gonna toast that garlic. We got roasted, we got fresh, we got onions. Your house is gonna be smelling amazing. People down upstairs are gonna be downstairs real quick. We're also gonna add some citrus. So we're gonna use orange juice and lemon juice. I don't know what it is about the orange, but I just love it in my seafood boil sauce. It's like unique a little bit, adds a hint of sweetness. Cuts through some of the, the seasonings and whatnot and the fat from the butter. And then lemon, everybody knows lemon goes really good with seafood. So we're gonna use both today. One orange, one lemon. The next two ingredients to arrive to the party is some hot sauce, whatever you like is fine, and some worst word in the world sauce. Depending on how spicy you want it, you can add a couple tablespoons, up to a whole fourth of a cup if you want it to be pretty spicy. For me, I'm going with about two tablespoons today, and about one tablespoon of our good friend worst word in the world sauce, Worcestershire sauce, whatever you want to call it. Now once we have that in there, I'm going to add some flavor enhancements which include chicken bouillon powder. You'd also use lobster base for this. I know MSG's been kind of demonized a bit and if you don't like it, you don't have to use it, but chicken bouillon powder does have some MSG and it's delicious. For the seasoning, we're using the dynamic duo of my AP seasoning and the real star of the show today, which is the lemon bay. This is gonna make your seafood boil amazing. You wanna use a good hefty dose of that. Treat it like you would a seafood boil seasoning in this situation. Three or four tablespoons of that. A couple tablespoons of the AP. We're gonna thin this out with a little seafood broth or chicken broth. But that's how we're looking just like that. All right, so I'm going in with about a cup of chicken broth. We're gonna re-season it once that goes in there. We just want to stretch this out a little bit so we got enough sauce. Bring that to a simmer, allow that to reduce a little bit, let the flavors concentrate some more. The key to this, guys, is to taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. You can make it as spicy as you want, totally up to you. I'm also going to add a little bit of fresh chopped parsley to the party for color, a little freshness. Just bring that up to a boil and allow all those flavors to come together. All right guys, so for the actual bag in the boil bag, we're using a turkey bag, which during Thanksgiving you would cook a turkey in here. Today we're using it for a seafood boil. What I like to do first is open it up. <clears throat> They're pretty sturdy, but I do like to put them in something like a foil pan or a casserole dish of some sort. We're gonna go in with some of the sauce at the bottom including some of those onions, some of that garlic. We'll add plenty more sauce here in a minute too, but just to get the bottom started. All right, so once we got a little bit of sauce at the bottom, we're gonna start adding in some of our potatoes. You wanna add the things that take the longest to cook towards the bottom. So we're gonna go in with some potatoes. Don't be shy. Get those in there. Some corn. We're doing two bags today, so Keep that in mind as you're handing out your ingredients to each one, going in with the sausage. We're gonna add our shrimp at the end. So we're gonna go in with the crab legs and then pop this in the oven 
And then we'll add our shrimp during the last 10 minutes or so just to make sure the shrimp don't get overcooked because nobody wants mushy shrimp. All right, so in goes the crab legs. You can kind of decide who you like the most at the house, give them a little bit more or a little less. That's a real thing too. Then we're gonna hit that with some seasoning and then plenty more of that sauce. So once you got it where you want it, we'll go ahead and tie it up. I'm gonna get some of that oxygen or that air out of there first. Don't tie it too tight guys, because remember we gotta add the shrimp in there in a little bit. So just a little, not a Boy Scout bow, but a, a little knot. Get that in there, make sure everything's coated in that sauce. And then depending on how many of these you're making, this recipe is good for about two boil bags. You pop them in the oven at 400 degrees until the crab legs are done, the potatoes are tender. All right, so now that we're most of the way done, we're gonna go ahead and add in our lobster tail and our shrimp to the top. That way it doesn't overcook. You can add it all in at once if you want to, but you can have rubbery shrimp and lobster and I'm not a fan of that, but if that's your thing, don't let me slow you down. We're gonna hit that with a top coat of seasoning. Give it another shake. Make sure that the sauce is well distributed. All right guys, so we went ahead and removed it from the boil bag just to show you what we're looking like and so we can get a nice thumbnail. This is the part where I say brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. Can't forget some of that sauce. Oh man. Then we're gonna hit it with a little parsley for a pop of color. The only thing left to do is get in here for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, my friends, time for the moment of truth. All right, I'm going in for one of these shrimp, first and foremost. Here goes nothing. You guys know what time of year it is. It's about to be tax time. What do I want to say? All right, guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make... I feel like I was saying the wrong...